I hope we'll be able to see this now. I'm risking a fish for this bite. There you are, bite. Absolute belter of a run there. Gotta be a decent hound. There now you can see it on the tip. Right tip up high, absolutely vital here now. Did you see the tail there? Nice hound. That's the run that the smaller fish give. A big fish is going to be. There you go, small but perfectly formed. Well, better one. <laughs> you should be very cautious there. It's be a fairly steep drop off just outside us. See the fish come up here now. There. Seems like a better fish. Certainly able to uh, hold its own. In the... Oh yeah, that's definitely a better fish. Really hard to see in the camera if you've actually got the fish on camera. You can see the way they just kite along there. No bollocks. Now a lot of the time um, you'd get these big run and then no fish. Um, so I think there were lots of small fish there attacking the baits. 
uh, I had five or six of them where I was I was just there and it was not not at all out of it but it was just such a cracking day for fishing um, I had hoped to get the drone up but it just didn't happen with the uh, there was actually quite a strong wind I don't know if you can hear some of the clips you can hear the, the ropes on the yachts banging across the way so it was quite a strong wind but what an absolute belter of a day So the baits in the day were just all it was all peeler crab, um, nothing too fancy. Um, the, the bigger baits tend to result in lots of dropped runs, so we're keeping them pretty tight. Uh, Tony was on the pulley rig, and I was using a two hook flapper in the hopes of getting a double hook up uh, for the camera, but no joy. Um, great day to be out. Like I said, uh, the, the sun was splitting the stones, but you can see the size of the fish just coming here now. This was kind of the average size we got all day, really four to five pounds kind, of, nice kind of sized fish. There's a quite a steep reef here by the looks of things. Um, you can see the ground that's in front of us, all these uh, rocks and such. They just go where they want to go. Like if, it, if you can get them as they're aiming for the shore, you can bring them in quite easily. At times, but I'd say a big one would be a uh, serious cut. Another one there. I think they're talking about five, six pound fish all the same. Like maybe slightly smaller, maybe. Now you might be wondering why I keep moving from side to side with the rod. It's the fish, they take a burst to one side and then they turn on themselves and they tear off the other way. So you just have to turn with the rod to uh, just keep in contact with the fish and avoid them um, head shaking and throwing a hook off. cool to get though.
great to finally get a longer video. I just hope the wind hasn't destroyed all the clips. Well, don't worry about it. They want for the neighbours. This was the best run of the day for me, but you can see the weed had really picked up and the tide had started to push very much. Um, nearly pulled it all out of the stand and I got delighted. I thought this is as finally a specimen, finally a really proper one. And uh, didn't really go to plan, but still a fine fish at the same time. But it was tangled up, so it came up in backwards, so I was able to power off whenever it felt like it. <laughs> it was. Uh, Exciting, but not the result that I'd hoped for. I see it's tail coming. I seem to be doing is running over recording Tony's fish. But that was a right good run there now. So it was a real good run. That was the best run of the day anyway. to see the fish shortly now. Try not to fall into the water. Oh yeah look. They're starting to really run now with the uh, with the, the water, with the, uh, the tide coming. The tide's really starting to push now and I, I, they must be using that. No monster again but Definitely serious sport like. So thanks to Tony for a great day's fishing. Uh, I think he took the honours in the end. 10-9 uh, I think. But uh, I'm going to blame the recording for holding me back. <laughs> uh, no, cracking day. And uh, hopefully we get out again for a couple of more fish.